We are entering an exciting new era where we know more than we ever have about how something so simple as reading aloud for 15 minutes by a loving parent to a child can change their brain for a lifetime. I'm Dr. John Hutton, a pediatrician and clinical research fellow at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Reading and Literacy Discovery Center. I'm fortunate to be able to bring my background as a child who was read to, a parent who read to my own children, a children's bookstore owner, an author of children's books, and a pediatrician to inform my work as a brain imaging researcher here to better understand how early reading environment and exposure to books can change the brain during the critical stages of development prior to kindergarten. A lot of families um, don't have as much access to books or readers or that model of reading together and it's become very important to me to be an advocate for such families to try to work to better understand how reading influences healthy development and how it makes such a big difference in um, not only getting ready for school but just being um, healthy and ready for success in life. In the first five years when brain development is proceeding at a very rapid pace babies are born with approximately 100 billion neurons which is about the most they'll ever have and from there their brains develop incredibly rapidly um, doubling in size by about one year old and then reaching about 85 to 90 percent of, of adult size by the time they're four to five years old. Reading is not a natural process that, that kids are born to know how to do. In order to learn to read effectively, um, different older aspects of, of the brain that are more hardwired are brought together. Most importantly those are, are vision, which is sort of seeing what's on the page and turning the pages, imagination, which is seeing in the mind's eye what's going on and is related to the visual networks, and then language, which is starting with, with hearing words and then eventually babbling and cooing and, and learning to say words independently. Those visual and language networks are then brought together to allow a child to see a word on a page, turn it into language in their mind, and then imagine what's going on and make sense of it.